This this is a, a mule deer skull. So, you know, this is uh, not as extreme as an elk, but you get a look at the internal okay. if you look inside of that and you see. Oh, yeah. Because they can wind you from 100 m yards Sorry. away easy. So see this spongy stuff? I don't know if they can see it on video. There's this spongy stuff there. Mm -hmm. That's something called the cribriform plate. The cribriform plate is a bunch of Swiss cheese-like thin bone. And the olfactory neurons, which basically sit like right behind your, the back of your nostrils, they, uh, they send axons, their little wire-like connections, back into the brain. And when somebody gets hit hard on the head, that cribriform plate, plate shears it and that's why people become anosmic they lose their sense of smell yeah now there, look at that picture yeah. now, now what's amazing about the olfactory neurons is that they are among the very few neurons in the human and other mammalian nervous system that regenerates throughout the lifespan so there's a little area of your hippocampus where there's some neurons that everyone makes a big deal of that frankly don't do a lot to regenerate throughout the lifespan, so-called neurogenesis, new neurons. But the olfactory neurons, even though they're a central nervous system neuron, just like your retinal neuron or your cerebral cortex, they can regenerate throughout the entire lifespan. And they do. Every time someone takes a head hit or there's some, you know, shearing off of these axons, uh, axons excuse me, um, they regenerate.